that one season, what's your abiding memory? What's the strongest memory that stands out? No, but it's but, interesting that you say horrendous. But just the, the feeling, just the build up, the feeling in the pit of the stomach. It's fantastic looking at the old photos. Lucky enough to play with, with great players. Had a, had a great manager, don't to big him up too much. But, <laughs> but for you, what's the moment? Probably that, that, that time in the dressing room at, at Anfield. Um, because of we'd gone through so much, we'd finished second the season before, we'd signed a couple of um, new players, and then to, to be in front for the vast majority and just get over the line, that was brilliant. Couldn't buy it. Deserved, deserved winners, and when it's run over 42 games, by the way, there's nobody can dispute it. Like you said, that moment where you get your hands on the trophy oh. represents a whole season and longer's worth of, of work. And, and Tell me about your relationship with the manager. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, obviously, I think the, the, the art, what Kenny, Kenny had, that he, he could be one of the boys. I mean, we, we all met on the same table. I mean, throughout my career, it's very, very uh, unusual. You know, it's usually when you go into hotels now, they've already got staff written on tables and players on another. When I sit next to them, they go, oh, <laughs> have to be on best behaviour. <laughs> yeah. No, but they, but they realise that I'm, I'm treating them as a man. I'm just one of them, you know. But I, and, and, I, and I think your dad was like that. But you knew, as my players do now, know when it's game time and know when you have to laugh and a joke and have to stop. I wonder if, if that came from the fact that you'd been a player and, and a player manager and that, that sort of wanting to be, everyone to be part of the same team. Well, we're all part of the same team. Everybody's looking to the same end, aren't we? Tim, would you, would you accept that we weren't the best, probably, football team in the world, but we, we had an unbelievable, if it wasn't for the midfielders not chipping in enough goals. <laughs> so, <laughs> would you accept that the team spirit that we had at Blackburn got us over the line? Oh, well, without a doubt. I think that the team spirit, what we had there, was, was um, I mean, was ridiculous. I mean, but and on the, some of the things we used to get up to, I'm not sure if we could say. Yeah, no, do. Go on. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, he, yeah, well, I couldn't, but they, um, <laughs> they, he, can't, but he can't believe his luck, this fellow. <laughs> coming from Blackpool, you know, we put him on a percentage of the, uh, of the bonuses because we believe that everyone travelling with a squad... Now, some of the antics that we got up to, whether we'd accept the, yeah. the same what from I his players. Now is, uh, listen... Blackburn of the People's Champions. I thought, you had I a little idea. I thought he was idea, quite yeah. observant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, he was what? quite observant. Blackburn, it's a guy who's... We weren't his stock listed. We were privately owned by, by Jack. It was a local guy who'd put his money in and said, I want to see my football club like go forward. And how did, that, how did Manchester United react and, and Alex Ferguson react when you called Blackburn the People's Champions? Oh, I don't know. You don't do know. so know. <laughs> 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 With the press attention came that sort of media battle with Alex Ferguson, which was kind of an old enjoy that. How much did you play it? No, I, Fergie obviously is trying to go into the main game. Devon, Devon Loch. Loch and I, so the press came back and said, Fergie said, 